I can fix it here with greater oak built back in our deck post and rail project. Uh, once we get to the point where you're ready to run the post and handrail system, you've got to do the layout. You've got to come over and figure out where your posts are going to be. Okay, this is just an example of where my post location may be. Okay, so what I'll usually do is start where I know they have to be. Okay, I know I'm gonna want one out here. Okay, I need one out here on the corner. All right, I know that I'm gonna need one over here at the top of the stairs. Okay, like so. Now, that's a pretty long span. It's right about 10 feet. If we installed a 10 foot handrail there, it's gonna be pretty loose, okay? It's gonna kind of blow in the wind. So we wanna split that difference and we're gonna put another post right in the middle, okay? So once we run that mat and we put one out there to the end and we put one down here on this corner, whatever our middle point is, that's where our next post is gonna go. Now, when I look at this location on this corner, this is kind of, this is important because a lot of people want a gate right at the top of stairs, uh, leading up and down. So we've got to think about how we're going to finish this with a gate, all right? And in this situation, we're going to want this post right here on this side, and then we're going to want this post in line on this side, okay? Now, if you look, if this is our post, we're hanging off of the deck, okay? So we have to create a notch in the post so that the post is up against the riser and sitting on top of the decking. This is tricky. This is a difficult part of the deck process is running the post and the handrail system. So when I look at this post on this, on this side, and I've got it mapped out where my baluster line needs to be, okay? So my balusters are gonna be centered, you know, between the three and a half inches of the post, so an inch and three quarters, all the way down the end of this nosing, okay? So when I slide that post out of my way and I look at my pencil line, you can see where, if we think of this post as in quadrants, okay, and this is quadrant one, two, three, and four, three of my quadrants are gonna be on the deck. One of the quadrants has gotta go all the way down up against my skirt boards, and so I've gotta cut that notch, okay? I've gotta cut three quarters out of the bottom of the post. Now, I want my hand runner to be at 36 inches tall, Okay? And I gotta give myself three inches of space at the bottom of my handrail, bottom rail, um, for clearance, okay? Blowing things off the deck and so forth. So when I come over and I look at this, this is the post I'm about to notch right now. I've gotta cut out that quadrant, that quadrant. One, two, three. All those need to go away, okay? And where this one stays. Okay, so I've got it all marked out, mapped out. Best way to do this for me is take it on a, uh, on a miter saw, put yourself a little block, a little spacer that gets you off, all right, because your blade's gonna be in your way there. Get you a little block, line up your line. I'm gonna go basically at my deck height. So right here, I've got my 36 inches that I know is gonna be where my handrail spacing is gonna fall. And then I got my three inches worth of space. And then this represents the deck board basically. So then I'll come through here. Get myself my little spacer. So now what I'm gonna do is leave this right here. Stay with me. I know this is getting long, but this is crucial. Here, we'll take a saw saw or a jigsaw or whatever you may have. And we're gonna fill it 
finish out this cut. As I always say, the most useful tool in the trailer, the multi-tool. That'll help us clean up this little edge here. As you can see, our quadrant one, two, and three are now out of our post. Okay, and if we did everything correct, hopefully it's a little snug. If anything, we'd rather trim it down. And that post is going to slip right into here exactly the way it should be. Okay? Does all that make sense? Hopefully everybody got something out of the video. Once again, this is Mike Can Fix It with Greater Rogue Build. Hit the thumbs up and the subscribe. Have a great day.